Hi guys, this is Stacy. Uh, for today's video, I want to share with you how to go about resticking the Cricut mats, whether it be the Explore mat, the Mini, the Imagine mat, even the Cameo mats. So this process, I think, works really well. Now, there are a few things you can do to extend the sticky of your mat. You can take a baby wipe to it and just wipe it down with a wipey. It'll pick up any leftover uh, dirt, you know, paper pieces. If you have pets, any kind of animal hair, and that'll bring back the sticky. You can take it to your sink, wash it with soap and water. When you do that, though, you want to let it air dry completely. You know, that'll bring back the sticky. Not to the point towards the original brand new Cricut sticky, but it does extend the stickiness of your mat. Now, if your mat is like mine and no longer sticky, but there's still glue on it, you first need to unstick it before you restick it. Now, to unstick it, I use Goo Gone. Um, you know, any hardware store will have it. We got ours at Walmart. It is uh, like a citrus smelling one. It doesn't smell good. You know, you want to make sure your pets are not near you and, you know, you have a well ventilated area, window open. All right, so I have my mat here. Now, my Goo Gone came in this kind of wonky container, so I just took it out and put it into a spray bottle like this, okay? You want to have your mat on a surface, whether it be like a paper bag, uh, napkins like I have here, and you're just going to spray your mat. Okay, I kind of got to put my mat sideways here to get it there. Just give it a good coating and let it sit there for a few minutes. Now, the Goo Gone, I find terribly greasy. It is like really, really greasy. And then you want to get, whether it be an old credit card, an old ID, um, some kind of, you know, even like little metal scrapers you can get for spackling or scraping, that kind of thing. So after it sits on there for a few seconds, you want to take your scraper tool and just start scraping. And I kind of work in a six by six area first. I, for me, I think it's easier that way. And you're just going to scrape it. And you will see the glue will come up. because I got marker on my mat. It won't take the marker off, but it does take the glue. And like I said, I just kind of work in my six by six area first, back and forth. Okay, then take your card and give it like a little wipe. Turn it around and work on my next six by six area and really get in the edges and whatnot. You can see the dirt and the gunk coming. Okay, let me turn it this way and work on this side. And it does help letting the Goo Gone sit there for a minute or two. Okay, let's do this last section here. And what it does, it basically gums it up. Now what I do, I have all of my stuff in the middle. I just kind of work on one end and just kind of go all the way across half the mat, just to get it all in one area. And let it fall off your mat onto your paper towel, your uh, paper bag. If need be, Clean your scraper or your little credit card. This is really good for all those, uh, you know, prepaid or them credit card offers you get in the mail. Just save those. They work great for vinyl, all kinds of things. All right, so now we have all the glue off. Our mat is very greasy. Okay, so at this point, when you're done doing this, you want to take your mat to your sink, and I really pour a lot of hot water on it to kind of get the grease off a little bit, and then you want to wash it with soap and water. I'm going to put this aside. I already have ones I did already. All right, now here I have the Imagimat. 
Um, it's, you know, it's sticky, a little sticky because I washed it with water. Even after I did the goo, uh, the goo gone, you may want to do it a few times with the goo gone, but I found just doing it once or twice worked really well. And then, like I said, I washed it with with hot water, so it does bring back the sticky a little bit. All right, the next product you're going to need is Aileen's Tack It Over and Over. You want to make sure you use the over and over because it is a temporary repositionable glue. And I just take it, open it, and you can use a coupon for this. Take a measuring cup, like a little medicine cup, and you're going to pour the glue in. Like I said, there may not be a lot in here because I've used it a lot. This is a great glue for this purpose as well as making your own um, glue dots. So I'm going to get about a half a, um, a half a measuring cup here. You want, you just want equal parts of glue and water. Okay, so we have that. And I have an old jar here with a tight-fitting lid. Oh, so tight it was hard to get open. All right, then you're going to pour your glue in here. And you can see it's pretty thin down there. So just pour your glue in there. Like I said, I got about a half of this filled with the glue. All right, and then you want to fill it with equal parts of water. So put your water in there. And then kind of take your little sponge. We're going to be using a foam applicator sponge. And kind of just give it a whirl in here. So it picks up the leftover glue on the side. All right, and then pour it in. Okay, now that I have that mixture in there, I'm just going to kind of stir it in here a little bit. All right, now all you do is you literally sponge it on. And again, I do work in a six by six area. And this will bring your mat back to better than brand new sticky. It really is a great process. Just even coats. You want to be careful not to go to the edge. And just one coat will do. And you want to make sure it is an even coat. If you do this and it's not even, you're going to get globs and you're going to find your mat to be too sticky. It's going to end up tearing your paper when you put it on. And, you know, good luck getting your paper off your mat. Now, like I said, this will bring it back to, like, brand new stickiness. And you can see I've not even dipped again. I'm just taking what I have over here and bringing it down. So when you're done doing this, you want to let it, you know, again, dry out completely to where it's going to be stacky, like, uh, sticky like your Cricut mat would be. I put mine in a drawer because I have dogs. I have the birds. You know, so there's bird feathers flying around and dog hair. You just want to keep on going. And you can see I've not re-dipped. So I think one dipping is good. Go to your edges. I'm go down here. So when this is done, when it's dried, if you find it to be too sticky, because it will be sticky, it'll be like, I'm telling you, more than a cricket sticky. You then want to take like your hands and, you know, use the, the oil from your hands and just kind of pat over it. That'll bring back, or that'll um, kind of tone down the stickiness, if you will. You can also take a t-shirt. You know, so I'm just trying to get, make sure I get even coats. I'm not, I have not re-dipped my brush. You can see, you know, whatever amount of glue this brush holds is working fine. You know, you can of course use those, uh, the, the zig pens, the bulk kind, or the, the broad tipped kind. They work well. But I do find this is cheaper. You know, you can use a coupon on it, and you're getting your double dose, because you're literally diluting it equal parts of the glue and water. Alright, so there we have it. You're going to let it fully dry, like I said, stick it into a drawer if you have pets, and your mat will be, like, brand new. I also have my uh, little Cricut Mini Mat here. I'm going to just double dip again, kind of, and you just want to get, you know, give the glue a little bit of stir every time you go in there. And this does look like a milk, you know, it's thin like milk, so if you have, you know, any little ones, you know, you want to put this away so they're not drinking the milk, or not drinking the glue that they think would be milk. So I'm going to push the glue all to one side. Again, being careful not to go over your grid area. I'm going to take it this way. Because you can see there's like, you know, where you see it's white, you see there it's milky, that means there's a lot of glue there. 
and you want to make sure you lay this to dry. Like I said, whether it be in a drawer, you want to lay it flat. Uh, if there's any slight bend in your mat when doing this, the glue will, um, you know, kind of go with the bend. And you'll have big old globs down here or on one side of your mat and that's going to make it your mat miserable to use because it's going to be really really sticky there and if you do this a little uh, disclaimer for you this will avoid your warranty so don't tell Cricut you've done this I'm not telling you to lie to Cricut just don't tell them you know they of course want you to keep on buying the mats All right, so there we have the mini mat all done. And again, you just want to, you know, keep on pulling that glue off. I'm actually going to take my brush and kind of get any extra glue off I have there. Okay, so there you have it, guys. That is how you restick your Cricut mats. Once again, you would need to use the Aliens Tack It Over and Over glue. Uh, and you want, you know, you can use a coupon. It's about, I don't know, maybe five or six dollars for this glue, but it lasts a really, really long time. I've had this for about two years and I've restuck a lot of mats and made a lot of my uh, homemade glue dots. And like I said, I'm just about now out of it. Um, but anyway, there you have it, guys. Any questions at all, please let me know. As always, thanks so much for watching. Have a great day and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.